Hello everyone, this is KJBeast1000 and welcome back to another 2.1 tutorial. This is going to be how to use the count triggers and how to make um, a object counter in the level. So I here have some keys, I have a little text saying keys um, and I'm going to display how many of them you've collected underneath that. Uh, I have a coin here which is going to be a, a reward for getting all of the keys. I'm going to have um, a toggle and a count trigger as well and the final thing I need to do is go to the trigger section and collect or place one of these um, little zero things and what you can do now you have to select the keys you want you go to edit special uh, this is one of the items that you can edit with this special feature you can go to pick up item and then give it an item ID. So I'm going to give it item ID 1 and that's all I really need to do there. Then I can go to edit special on the item counter and make it count 1 and it will turn to C equals 1 which uh, is counter 1. So it's counting 1 now. Group 1. So you see if I collect one key it goes up by 1. If I collect two keys then it will go up to 2 and if I collect all three then there you go, it says keys free underneath there. Um, to make it count something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this key in a new group. And it's important to remember that uh, group IDs are not the same as item IDs. So because this is item ID 1, it will not affect group 1 for the coin. Um, so you can have the same number, it's not going to affect it in any way. What I want to do now is toggle off group 1, which means that the key is now, uh, the coin rather, is toggled off. What I want to do with the count is target group 1 and activate it when item ID 1 gets counted to 3. Um, you can do this with any number of keys as well, so you could set it to 5 or something like that. But in this case, if I collect all three keys, um, all or all three of any item with the ID 1, it will activate group 1. Meaning it will activate the coin once I get all three keys. So if I collect the first two keys, there's no coin to be seen. Um, if, however, I got all three coins, which I'll do in just a second, I get all three and it allows me to get the coin. So, this is what I've been, uh, I've managed to figure out as well. Um, it's, pr it's pretty easy, uh, after you've, uh, know how everything works. You can also do a subtract thing here, where instead of, um, adding on to this it will go minus so you see it goes keys minus one which I don't really know if you want to do minus one but uh, you could uh, maybe set this to be um, equals or you could set this to equal three at first and it's counting down for how many keys you need so I don't know if there's an easier way to do this um, there is an instant count trigger, which I'm not really sure how it works. Um, I think that just instantly counts how many you've previously, how many of these keys you'd have previously got. But uh, what I'll do here is I'll subtract the count from here. I'll make three of them. I'll add them to a new group, two, and then I'll make this group two invisible. This means that you will collect the keys without even knowing it. Um, because the keys are invisible, basically. Uh, they do still show up, so I'm not really sure if you could hide them in some way. But this means that they will automatically... You'll automatically collect three of them, and then you can count down. But uh, that might use up a lot of objects if you want to do a... For example, do 99 here. I don't know why you'd do that, but... Uh, um, that's just an example of the stuff you can do. So, I hope this helped you if you had any problems figuring out um, the count triggers or what the new uh, 
key things you can do it with all of these as well. The uh, heart, potion, skull, and uh, I believe this as well. Yep. So um, that's that's basically it. Hope this was helpful to you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.